Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified of each new video as they come out. Hey everybody, I'm JJ Johnson. You're watching Reality Survival. And this is just a real quick tip. If you ever have to run a extension cord across your driveway, and uh, that's what I'm doing here is to run the, the big heat lamp when it gets really, really cold, um, you can just get one of these one of these deals which is made for an office and uh, and turn it upside down and then that way when you I got the chickens out today <laughs> and that way when you run over it it protects the bottom side of it keeps it from getting cut up and stuff like that if you just drive over this path then you don't have any issues I've had it out here for a couple months and it's been working really really well and I think that that piece only cost me like 15 bucks at Lowe's so kind of a quick easy solution you know that doesn't require you to dig underneath your uh, gravel and all that kind of stuff so just thought I'd share that with you hopefully it's useful hey everybody I'm JJ Johnson you're watching reality survival and we're just out here in the chicken coop I was doing a little cleanup and and uh, I also added in a light <coughs> you know it's getting dark early now and uh, so I've got a little light that I got on a timer down there and um, I also added in another heated uh, fount for the for the chickens and I'm finding with I've got uh, 13 hens and one rooster and I'm finding that those two three gallon founts will last about uh, one week so you know if I fill them up on like a Sunday then usually it'll go till the next Saturday or Sunday something like that the uh, hen gear nesting box is working out pretty well yeah yeah we hear you um, it's working out pretty well what I, I did have to do though is I did have to put some carpet down in here and so far that has uh, stopped me from getting any any more cracked eggs um, I was getting about I don't know maybe like one out of every two dozen or something like that it, it wasn't a whole lot but I was getting some cracked eggs and I think it was because that plastic mat when it gets real cold when the eggs drop it just gets a little a little poke in them but, but the do it is plenty big enough to handle all of the all of the hens that we have they get in there and they sometimes they get two or three in there at a time uh, so there's really no issue with that uh, let's see and the uh, what I've done on the on the coop is and I think I showed you guys this before but it's basically just a big panel and I've got a light underneath there anytime if it gets down below <coughs> below 15 degrees and I'll turn that light on and I have a, a, a piece of cinefoil over the top of it to keep it from getting crapped on <laughs> then I've also got the one up here that's working off of the Kodiak generator now I did have to install some uh, some wire up here to keep the hens from getting up on top that was one thing I did and just a little bit of wire seemed to work fine yeah yeah be quiet buddy um, they don't seem to mind being all on one level I know some people were saying they like to have different levels it seems like to me what what they do is the the ones that are on the lower pecking order they just stay out here on the edge and then everybody else gets on the inside that's kind of how they line up I also installed this door also installed this door here and the reason I did this was to keep the hens from getting in there because I had one hen who was laying eggs in there but I also uh, wanted to contain the smell a little bit because this is where they poop the most from their roots <laughs> so every once in a while I'll just throw in a layer of straw over the top of their poop and then you know this spring I'll be able to shovel all that out take it out you know and let it sit in the compost pile so it's just an easy way and it helps keep the coop a lot cleaner um, and smelling a lot better because you don't have the uh, so I close that just the open the open kind of smell 
All right, all right. And then I also have the little feeding spots over here. And they don't seem to mind that too much. I've got some diatomaceous earth and some oyster shells out for them. And then I'll throw out some uh, straw and stuff like that whenever, you know, whenever it uh, suits me. Okay. And then I didn't really do too much out here. Um, I mostly have stopped feeding them from the, the hanging uh, feeder because the wild birds come in and, and get and get it and The the water out here it just freezes over so it's pretty well useless in the winter time um, But I do still put out the alfalfa for them I'll put out a, you know a couple flakes a week or whatever and that seems to be working. Okay, so anyway, that's just a quick update on the uh, On the chicken coop as always, guys, I definitely appreciate it when you click the thumbs up button, when you share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. And don't forget to live the six Ps. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. Stay safe, guys.